Hello everyone, welcome to LEV Toys. I'm very excited. Well, granted, I'm often very excited. I get excited a lot. <laughs> There's a really good reason to be excited today because I have got one of the brand new Lego Friends sets. This one is the Heart Lake City Restaurant. And that's its title, but it's obviously a themed, ooh, Italian restaurant. Look at the little kitties. There's two kitties in this set. All right, so this one is just one of the many new sets that I'm looking forward to opening up and building and playing with. Let's see what we got in the box. Nothing unusual here. We've got uh, our instruction book. We got all the bags with, oh, what pretty colors in bag five. All those reds and greens. Okay, very Italian-y. Okay, mini dolls in here. We have got Emma. Emma is our friend's friend's character in this set and she is wearing an outfit that we have seen before, which is fine, but there are some more new outfits coming in the other sets. She's joined by Chico. Oh, so they're going to go out for dinner or I don't know, they, who knows what they're going to do. So I assume there's going to be dinner in it. The set also includes Ethan and we've seen Ethan before in previous sets. Ethan has an alter ego who we will talk about as well. But you know what? I want to see this Ethan, the Ethan that we see in the series. They made a Daniel with a more teenage face or a, like a tweeny teenage face. And I think they should revamp some of the other boy characters too. I, we can always do with some more boy characters in the friend sets. But anyway, that's what I'd like. I very rarely get what I like, but it'd be so cool. Okay, Ethan is joined by this random stray cat who apparently lives at the restaurant who we've also seen lost posters for or maybe not a stray cat then uh lost posters for in previous sets so we've also got a helmet here i got a bit distracted there by the cat does the cat belong to somebody sure okay i don't know and we've got helmets we've got emma's helmet and we've got this blacked out helmet with a blacked out visor which is not very useful because i have no idea how you would actually see through that but anyway that is for ethan because Ethan is, oh, we shouldn't show anybody, he is, he has an alter ego of Pranksy. So he wanders around town uh, graffitiing stuff. So not exactly legal, but obviously <laughs> makes him exciting. <laughs> for the friends characters okay and emma's got her helmet that we saw before in the racing car sets so we've also got a scooter which is what they're going to be using the helmets for i hate putting these wheels on i do use my teeth because i just can't get them on any other way they leave little holes in my fingers look at my poor fingers okay so we've only got two of these wheels to put on so i will be okay there we go. Two wheels are on. We need the handlebars and we need a little headlight. And then the scooter is ready for some serious scootering. Uh, let's put Emma on and we'll get her all set up. And Chica can jump on the back and she could either do deliveries for the restaurant. But I don't think that's the actual prime purpose for the scooter. I think it's actually probably for Ethan. But who knows? It can be for whatever you want it to be. Okay, green thing here. Don't know what it is yet, but it's green. <laughs> predominantly green. We got some stickers going on here. Here is some of our graffiti and because Peter and oh P plus E in a little heart. So that's Pranksy and Emma. Also seen that <laughs> graffiti on other places in town. We got a couple of fish here in this dumpster and we're also opening up this new set of lavender cutlery and we're putting the beaters into the okay obviously these <laughs> He's conked out during the restaurant opening or something. So the beaters are in the bin. They do not work anymore. <laughs> the knife and fork. That's kind of random. Got some more graffiti on the side. Not sure what that one says or even what it's tagged, what the tag is on it. But this dumpster needs a lid so that the stray cats can't get into it. <laughs> you know, the stray cats are totally going to get into it. Look straight into it. This cat needs a name. Does this cat have a name? I can't believe this cat doesn't have a name. I want, can you give this cat a name, please? I just don't like kitties to not have a name. Chico's up here anyway. I think they're the new bestest buds anyway. They're gonna be hanging out near the dumpster a lot. Okay, it's, it's bizarre that the first thing we actually built for a restaurant is a dumpster, but uh, you know, trash maintenance is very important. Okay, so now we've got some more of this lavender, these lavender accessories. We've got oh, a printed piece with spaghetti bolognese on it. And in the little, the, the, the baking dish we've got something that's red and I don't know what that is I do not know what that is it wouldn't be garlic bread what would uh, I don't know what that is you're gonna have to tell me in the comments what you think that might be it might come to me as we go along 
<laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, base plates now of the restaurant. We're putting a lot of formwork down the bottom here before we even start doing the walls up the side. We've got these nice little teal pieces that are tiling an area up the back. We're putting a whole heap of tan pieces for tiling as well and putting some green on so there's going to be some grass out the front maybe? We're out the back. I actually don't know which way this is going to be turned. And I've already put, oh, okay, I've already put these tan pieces in the wrong place, so I need to concentrate, pay attention. Lots and lots of tan tiling. It's going to be nice and smooth wherever that is. Got some angled pieces back there. Well, oh, this is fun. This is curious. This is different. And we've got some grey pieces across here. I have no idea what we're actually building. We're just putting the formwork in. Uh, and we've layered it up there a little, and we've got... Nope, that's the wrong spot. We've got... Did you notice that we have a teal brick separator with this set? Starting to see it more and more now. That's so exciting. Nice to have it change from the bright orange one. We're up to bag number two and we have finished the floor plan, I think. And I left a piece. There's a significant piece at the end of bag one, so that belongs there. You can always kind of tell which ones shouldn't be left over at the end of the beach bag. There's another minifigure and this is Lily. I have no idea about Lily's character, but she does have Stephanie's mum's head. And we put it with this, when we put it with this little chef's hat, she looks entirely different to Stephanie's mum now. It's amazing what a change of hair colour can do. We'll give her this little, uh, oh, I can't handle that hair not being on straight. We'll give her the little uh, checklist for taking the orders and she gets a pen too. So she's going to be multitasking, I think, because she is in charge of the restaurant. Unless Ethan actually helps her out at the restaurant, but I thought... Ethan is Dottie's grandson, right? So, and he works at the Drifting Diner, I think. I don't know. Things change all the time. People change jobs. He could have two part-time jobs. Okay, we have a little table here and we're putting some of these lavender cupcake containers on it. We're putting a mixing bowl on it. Maybe this is going to be the working area. <gasps> this is nice. This is a nice big bowl. And we're making strawberry something or others? Making strawberry cupcakes. Oh, yum. And we've got some... Little dispensers, maybe oil and pe oh, that's oil and pepper to go on. I don't know what we just put in the mixing bowl, but the oil and the pepper is to go on the bread. Very Italian thing. You don't put butter on, you put oil and salt and pepper on it. And we've got salad there. There's our bread. There's our breadstick. And we're making, I don't know, we've got some more nice big bowls here. Oh no, hold on, they're not bowls, they're lights. Oh, they're down lights. Oh, it's a salad bar. Well, kind of, it's like a servery where you can come and get your own bread and cupcakes and, uh, and salad. And a teeny tiny toilet, look at that tiny. Oh, that's a great design for a toilet. <laughs> I love all the different ways you can design just a toilet out of Lego. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, we're, uh, we're now putting some of the, some of the, some of the wool and the, the design work going in here. Once again, I'm really having to concentrate on where these are going because it's kind of, you put a piece here and then you put a piece over here and I obviously needed a nap before I started building this because I'm making a few little mistakes. I'll concentrate really, really hard. We've got a corner piece down there. We're building up three brick pillars here. This is really very cool, a really cool design. Here's our cistern for the toilet. It's got a shiny silver button on the top. And the tiniest bathroom, holy moly, that is a sink in there. And this is the toilet roll. That's the bathroom, do you even fit? She does fit. Holy crikey, that is so small. But she fits. I mean, what do you need? You don't need to hang out in there very long, so you don't need a lot of space. This here, we've got a little book piece, which I've got the sticker on, not so straight, with a three and a two on it. And, oh, it's the menu. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so nice. So there's our menu for our restaurant. That's really cute. So the salad bar, I missed these pieces. So I've got to the end of bag number two and discovered I had these leftover pieces. So they belong there. Now we're up to bag number three and we're all complete with bag number two. Salad bar looks good. Bathroom looks good. Let's put the menu over here because it belongs right there next to what I think is my, might be the reception desk. Okay, building some more walls up. Ooh, okay, that looks like a little servery that Lily has just popped into. So maybe a, an open servery to go from the cooking area to the outside area. I've just put the stairs on the wrong spot. Oh, 
cute. The stairs are going up to a little landing there. And then we're building up, we're building the stairs up even further this way. I really like the design of this. This is cool. This is a step up. Okay, we got these. I think these are a new. I don't know. These are a new shape to me. These little railing pieces. They make fantastic railing pieces. I wonder what else we're going to be able to use with that design. I've never seen that shape brick before. It doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It just means I haven't seen it before. And they make fantastic little Mediterranean type railings for this cool little Italian restaurant. This bathroom is just getting smaller and smaller. It's. I think it's going to end up. Is it like under the stairs? <laughs> it's like, it's the, it's the room under the stairs, but instead of Harry Potter having to live in there, there's the tiniest toilet. You couldn't fit a bed in there anyway. That's so small. All right, we have got a round thing here, and this is so totally different to what we've been building so far. So let's see what this is. Got some little arch pieces, and it's all out of that stone. Oh! It's a, oh, it's an oven. It's, it's a wood, it's for wood-fired pizzas. Wood-fired pizza. So that's not a servery at all. That's so cute. I love all the archways. Here's our pizza. There's our paddle that you put it on so you don't burn yourself getting it in and out. Oh, that's so cute. This is packed full of details. Okay, we're continuing these pillars up over here. And we've got some little white, the little white rounded pillars there. Okay, we're still going with the structure though. Got some, oh, we're already getting some plants on the front. Little plants around this pillar here, if I can just squeeze them all in. They'll all squeeze in. If they're in the instructions, they fit there. And on this, oh, it's the chalkboard menu. Menu, minestrone soup and pizza of the day. $2 for one, $5 for the other. Oh, nice. I would so, sorry Emma, I would so love to drop in just for some minestrone soup. It's really cold here in Australia right now. <laughs> we're in winter. Half of you lot are in summer, the other side of the world, but we're in winter and it's cold. We just had a cold blast. Okay, we've got a door here with a shiny door handle. It's on an angle. That's awesome. That's what all these pillars are for. So there's our entryway there. It's all been built up with smooth pieces. I didn't even see that happening. There's another pillar there. So that's definitely the reception area where you go and you check in for your meal. You come and get, get, get a seat, order a table. And here, this door has seen better days, obviously. This is the bathroom door. <laughs> and it's gonna make this like the smallest room <laughs> ever. Let's see if Emma still fits in here. I know she will. Wow though, oh my goodness, you wouldn't want to be claustrophobic. Pizza keeps falling out everywhere. We'll leave that door ajar for her just so she doesn't get too freaked out by being in that tiny enclosed space. Okay, on the wall we have got a frying pan. Clever, nice way to store all of these utensils. And we've got a fire extinguisher over here. Safety first, so important. Over here, just near the front door. And we are starting to build up on the next level. This is so cute. This is really cute. And this little serving area, well, this is a food preparing area with that random baking thing. <gasps> Maybe that's a like ch chicken parmigiana or something like that with, uh, oh, okay, uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe it would be, I thought it'd be yellow on the top fit with cheese though. I just don't know. We're up to the next bag anyway. Getting distracted by, tr by trying to figure out what we're doing here. We are rounding over above the door and putting some more structure on up the top. Looks like we're gonna be putting some more of those cool little arched railings along the front. We've got some nice big light yellow arches here. It looks spectacular. Such a great design. That's cool. That's so cool. Oh, it's so exciting to have these new sets to build with these new designs. Okay, Emma's up here on the second level. We are putting the railing on, which looks absolutely so, so schmick. So good. And now we've got some more of these nice big yellow pillars. So we're kind of boxing in that area over there. There's a door frame. Are we seriously going to make a tiny room over there? It's got an arch! Oh! <laughs> that's looking good, but I really hope that's not going to be a room. Oh no, okay, so this is kind of the entryway to... Oh, the alfresco seating area up here on the second level. That's what it is. Okay, and we've got a lamp down here, a lantern. That's going to create just such a lovely soft glow to light up the chalkboard and to create a lovely ambiance in the restaurant. This here is kind of out of character color. Oh, this is also, this is a different color leaf to what we've had before. So we've got a darker green and a light green now in these leaves. And we're making a whole heap of these. And we're going to be putting them around our little pillar here 
to make this very random looking plant. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's a plant for the side here. It looks really, actually it looks kind of odd. That doesn't look like the instructions at all. Oh, okay, okay, let's take all these off because I'm actually supposed to attach it on these little outward facing studs on the plant, not on the bottom part. Got it. Now that looks so much more like the instructions. Still don't know what this random plant is, but it creates a nice piece of greenery in the front corner of the restaurant. Now, of course, we need some chairs. We are up to chairs now. So they are teal, all teal upholstered. Very pretty. And we're going to tuck them right in here. That pizza is just flying out of the oven all the time. And we are obviously going to need a table. This is all alfresco dining. Do you know what alfresco means? Alfresco means outdoors. Actually, that might not be the literal translation, but it, 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 it means eating outside. So we've got some more of our nice, nice, nice crockery here. And the hooks, I'll put those legs on in the wrong spot. The hooks mean that they don't roll off everywhere. The fork and the knife is going to stay beautifully in place. I like that because I'm a bit tired of the pizza falling out of the pizza oven. But our knives and our forks are not going to go anywhere. Now we have got some more matching chairs and a matching table. And don't know quite where we're going to put this. There's no more room left downstairs, which logically means we need to look upstairs. So I think we're going to be putting this on the, yeah, we're going to be putting this in the balcony upstairs. And we've got, oh, this one's already got a nice serving of spaghetti bolognese on it. So let's put it up here. Put the chairs here. I just need to make sure that they fit in the space. And that is so snug, but they fit so perfectly. We're up to bag number five with all these pretty colors, with the reds and the oranges. Now we're about to make this incredibly Italian-y, as if it wasn't already with all of the archways and the Mediterranean look. Right, okay. So up here we're putting like a trellis for, for a bit of shade. And also we're gonna have some grapevines growing over it. But before we put them on there, we've got these cute, cute, cute little roof pieces with these really colorful rounded over pieces. I'm doing a great job of describing it, but doesn't that look so cheerful? Isn't it just so gorgeous? So these are going all the way up on the top and they look so, they're just such a travesty of colors together. They shouldn't go, but they do. They just look really, really cheery. Okay, I have no idea what we're doing on this little platform over here. It's like we could put another dining area here, but instead we've got these, the gas bottles. This is gonna be a cooking preparing area. I don't know. It looks like we're actually creating more roofing here with those little hinge pieces. So I'm not sure. Let's just see. As we go along, obviously it's going to come clear. So we got, yeah, we definitely do have some more roof pieces here. We're doing some more of these little colorful roundy pieces. So cute. Kind of looks like we're lining the roof with candy. Could use this for a gingerbread house. These pieces will be really useful for gingerbread houses. That's really pretty. That's really super duper pretty. So definitely that's a little roof and this looks like a little chimney stacky thing. But now we have got, now we've got, oh, now we've got the embellishment, the actual little thing that we put up nice and high. So everybody from far away in Heart Lake City can see this grape, this little set of grapes, this bunch of grapes, you don't have, Grapes don't come in sets, they come in bunches. Okay, so we have a bunch of grapes, kind of on a strange angle, and we've got grapevines growing over the trellis, over the top of the alfresco area upstairs. How cute is this? And isn't this design just so good? I love these big green planty pieces that have been stuck into the other green planty pieces with the grapes underneath. That's just hopeless. <laughs> Such a good description. We'll just stick the green planty pieces into the other green planty pieces. Then we'll put some purple pieces on it and it's done. It's really cool. All right. <laughs> so, so concerning. Okay, this here is, this is a nice big piece of Pranksy graffiti and that appears to be on the back of the restaurant sign. La Locanda. La Locanda? La Locanda. And La Locanda means the inn. The inn. So that's very generic. Uh, but it's a fancy, it seems fancy because it's in Italian. All right, so at La Locanda, Pranksy comes to visit quite often to put his graffiti everywhere. That's what these are for. They're his oh, spray cans. So Ethan, here he is. Mm, okay, all right. So we have finished the build. Here it is in its entirety. It is 
absolutely so cool. If you have got a little city, you're going to want to add this to it because it's so, so cute. It's so colourful. So let's see what we can do with it. Let's play with it a bit. Let's send Emma out for dinner. And Lily's busy preparing. She's been working hard in the restaurant. She's here. She's gone ding, ding with a little bell. And Lily is ready to show her to her table. So she's going to need to grab the menu. And there's not a lot of space through here. So she's gonna, they're all going to try and tuck through and, and head up the stairs. Try not to step on the kitty on the way. And here is your seat. Here you go, Emma. Will you be dining alone tonight? Oh, I don't think so. She's actually going to be dining with Ethan. He'll be here in a moment. So she's just going to take a look at the menu while she waits for Ethan to turn up. He's often late, but he gets kind of flustered when he's going out with Emma. He falls over a lot and he tends to lose his hair. So we'll just kind of fix him up. Oh, Ethan, let's fix you up. Right. Okay. So they are out on a, on a date maybe. And they don't want anything off the menu tonight. They're just going to visit the salad bar. So what do they want from the salad bar? Are they going to have salad? Because it is a salad bar. No, they're not. They're going to have cupcakes. Right, straight to dessert. <laughs> okay. Well, if you can, you should, I think. I think Kitty's coming. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, Lily's fallen over. She's horrified that the... Yeah, that's right. Chase that kitty away. And that's kind of just a normal day at La Lacanda. But at night, at night, it's a completely different place full of cats in dumpsters and teenage boys graffiti. Hmm. <laughs> Did he think that was the police? He should have thought it was the police, but it wasn't. It was just Chico. All right, we have built one of the new sets. There are so many good ones to build, so make sure... I'm so excited. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the restaurant. And I'll be back with new ones very, very soon. I promise, I promise, I promise. I'll see you then. Bye.